Good morning, happy Monday. All right, so good morning, welcome, welcome. Have a seat on your mat. We're gonna start with our yoga this morning. And um, I invite you to find a seat. Hopefully you can be okay with the wind. I'm sorry for the stress of the wind. Let's just start our morning by closing our eyes and a nice cleansing breath. Big inhale, let it out Oh. Just listen to your body and notice how does it feel this morning. And as you notice, if there's anything calling your attention, just let that be in your awareness as we go through our practice today. I want you to offer yourself some gratitude for showing up this morning to move your body and get reconnected, to wake yourself up and set your intention for the week. So take a moment to offer yourself thanks. It matters that you did this today. Honor yourself for that. And if there's an intention you have for this week, something you want to accomplish today or during the rest of the week, go ahead and take a moment to set your intention now. All right, we'll start by bringing our hands together at heart center, nice deep inhale, and letting out the sound OM as we begin our practice today. Nice deep inhale. OM. And we're gonna start with some movements from Kundalini Yoga, which is designed to kind of generate some heat and energy. So I'm gonna invite you to take your hands, bring your fingers to your palm, extend your thumbs out, 
and bring your arms to a 45 degree angle. You wanna imagine an arc between your thumbs, like a rainbow arc. And you're going to pump your abdominals with fire breath. It, the breathing is all in and out through the nose and it looks like this. Go ahead, again. Inhale, bring the thumbs to touch above your head. Open the palms, exhale, sweep down, creating an arc. This exercise helps to expand our aura, our protective energy, our protective chi. So take a moment to just sit and notice how that felt in your body, a couple of deep breaths. Next movement is spinal flex. We're gonna hold on to our ankles and we're gonna inhale, arc the spine. This is like a seated cat cow. And then exhale, round the spine. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. So inhale, arc the spine, exhale, round the spine. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, hold, and exhale, relax. Bring your hands to your knees, and just take a moment to breathe and notice how that felt in your spine. Next, we're gonna circle the spine around. So hold on to your knees and lean back, and then to the side and forward, to the other side and back. Side, forward, side, back. Just circle around, inhaling as you draw back, exhaling as you draw forward. Sweet, other direction. This Exercise really good for waking up your digestion. Good. Two more. Nice. So the spinal flex we did really got our whole back, but we want to concentrate more on the upper back and neck. So I'm gonna invite you to kind of hold low on your knees, straighten your arms and, and lock them. We're gonna do that spinal flex this time, focusing on upper back and neck. Inhale, exhale. And hold and relax the shoulders. And bring your chin to your chest. We'll do some nice slow rotations of the head and neck. Inhaling as you 
circle up, exhale as you circle down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Switch directions, inhale up and exhale down. Nice, good, let your chin rest on your chest. And then slowly stack your cervical vertebra. Bring an ear to the shoulder, so let your head fall towards your shoulder. Extend your arm out and bring it on top of the head. Let it rest there gently. Extend the other arm out, create a nice stretch. Only going to that place where you feel sensation, never forcing, never pushing. Always in a place of comfort where you can breathe easily and comfortably. We're gonna add a resisted stretch here. So push your head against your hand. Two, three, four, five, six. Release and let it go. See if you stretch a little bit further. Circle the arm, small little circles. First one direction, then the other. One more time, press into the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take a breath, relax, and release the head up to center. Bring the chin to chest again. One more full circle each direction. And then bring the head up and over to the other side. Let that hand come and rest on the head just gently. Extend the opposite arm out, get a nice long line of stretch. Breathing. Nice, we'll do it a resisted stretch. Press, two, three, four, five, six. Relax, see if that stretch extends just a little bit more. Circle the arm, little circles. Other way. One more time, resisted stretch, press. Two, three, four, five, six. And let that go, nice. Bring the chin back to chest. Circle once around each way. Good. Bring those shoulders up to the ears, squeeze, 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 and let them drop. And again, squeeze, 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 and let them drop. And rotating those shoulders. And other direction, good. So we're gonna extend our left leg out, bring the right leg to the thigh. Turn and face your foot, so you want to be in line with the foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. You might get to your knee, you might get to your shin, you might get to your ankle, you might get to your toes. Wherever you get is totally perfect for you in this moment. Be with that and breathe. Stretching our hamstrings, calves. Breathing. Leg is straight, not bent. And walk your hands back up. Turn so that you're facing towards the camera. And now we're gonna reach over to the side, making a big arc. Palm is down. Just feeling the stretch along your side body.
and coming up, bringing both feet together, holding at your feet, bring your knees up towards your elbows, and then gently start to press them down. You can use the elbows to start to press them down. You can lean forward just slightly until you feel that stretch in your adductor muscles. That's your inner thigh muscles. And just breathe and hold. Great. Slowly coming up. Extend your right leg out. Bring the left leg to the thigh. Turn. Line yourself with your feet. Toes are pointed towards the ceiling or sky. Inhale up. Exhale, fold over. Again, you might get to your knee. You might get to your shin. You might get to your ankle. You might get to your toes. Wherever you get is totally perfect for you in this moment. Listen to your body. And breathe, always breathing. Breathing helps us avoid overstretching or injuring ourselves. So paying attention to where you feel sensation, wherever your attention is drawn, let it be there. That's the perfect place for it to be. Walk your hands back up, turn to the front. We're going to arc over to the side, stretching the side body. Breathing. Staying present, listening to your body. And rising up. This time, just crossing the legs comfortably. We're going to walk our hands forward. And walk your hands back. We invite you to cradle your foot into your elbow and lift and sit up straight. You should feel this is kind of like a seated pigeon pose. Feel this in the hip. Again, breathing. You might want to gently rock it out a little bit. Gently set that back down. Now, that was your front foot. I want you to switch which foot was in front. And we'll again walk ourselves forward as far as is comfortable. And walk yourself back, cradling the opposite foot and opposite elbow, hugging your 
to me. Sit up tall. If you need to rock that out a little bit. Stretching the hip. Excellent. Go ahead and release that. Then we're going to come on to all fours. We'll do some cat cows here. Inhale, exhale. And then sunburn. So come to a neutral flat back. Extend your left leg back and your right arm forward. Reach, reach, reach in opposite directions. Creating length. Shore up your abdomen, creating strength. Lift a little higher, both things. And then bend the knee, reach around and grasp the foot and stretching quadriceps. And release that. Stretch long again. Reach higher. And release the hand back under the shoulder and the knee back under the hip. We'll do two cat cows to reset the spine. And then extending the right leg back and the left arm forward. Beautiful sunbird pose. Extend hand and foot in opposite directions, creating length. Pull your belly button in towards your spine, creating core strength. Breathing, reaching, lift both a little higher. And bend that back knee, reach around, grasp the foot, stretching quadriceps. And gently release that, stretch long once more, reach, 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 lift, 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 and then gently set everything down. Widening your knees as far as you need to, we're going to sit back into child pose, so sit back on your heels and then extend the arms out and let the forehead come to the mat. Rocking again, bring the knees back underneath the hips and allow yourself to come down onto your abdomen. Hands stay under your shoulders. We'll do some rolling cobras to warm up the upper spine. Inhaling up, you can lift your hands off the earth if you like. Exhale down. Three more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
Last one, begin to engage your hands, lift a little higher, and relax down. Excellent. Go ahead and turn over onto your back. And roll down, bringing your heels close to your buttocks. We're going to push up into bridge pose. So walk your shoulders in towards each other. Lift the pelvis up. If you can clasp your hands underneath, great. If not, place them just flat on the mat, lifting as far as you can comfortably. And gently lower down. Extend the legs long. Extend the arms above the head. Reach in opposite directions. And then hug your right knee to your chest. Take three breaths here. Massaging your internal organs. And gently extend that leg back down to the mat and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Three deep breaths. Extend that back down and now hug both knees into the chest. Gently rock side to side, massaging the low back. And go ahead and roll all the way over to your side. Pushing yourself up into a seated position. Finding your center again. Inhaling your left arm up to the sky. Bring it down and hook it onto your right knee. Lift your right arm up and place it behind your sacrum. Push into the ground so that you sit up tall. And we're gonna do a nice spinal twist, big inhale. Exhale, slowly wind your spine, bringing it out. Take a deep inhale, look a little further, and exhale, slowly unwind. Take a breath in center. <sighs> rising with your right hand, place it on your left knee, rising with your left hand, and place it behind your sacrum. Sit up tall, and exhale, wind. Bringing out the spine. Nice deep inhale. Look a little further and slowly exhale, unwind. Take a moment to breathe. <sighs> We're going to roll onto our hands and knees, coming into a crouch. And then keep your hands as close to the earth as you can. Push your sacrum up. Let your knees stay soft, slightly bent to protect your low back. You want to bring your pinky fingers to the crease of your elbow. Hang in ragdoll pose for a moment. Good. 
can sway the body out if it needs it. And then let the hands release back to the mat. Very slowly, we're gonna roll up vertebra by vertebra, tucking your tail under you, stacking the spine, head and neck, last to come up. Roll those shoulders back. Take a nice wide stance. We'll do some deep breathing. And bring hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Take a moment to feel your body. And we'll go ahead and proceed with our brain gym. So brain gym starts with massaging the scalp. So just like you're shampooing your hair in the morning, go ahead and massage the scalp all over, bringing the blood flow to the area. So that's part one of the scalp massage. Part two of the scalp massage is imagine your fingers are like octopus suckers. Stick them onto the head and then slide the skin over the bone. That increases circulation in a different way. And then find another spot, stick them on, and move the skin over the scalp. Find another one. Good, just all over the head, all different directions, nice. Then we're gonna massage our forehead. And massage our temples. So part of EK is getting the blood flowing into the brain. Helps with productivity, alertness. Massage your cheeks. Massage the front of your throat. And then working the tension out of the back of the neck, milk it. Just squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Good. And then reaching around. Holding that trapezius muscle, squeeze it, milk it, and then hold it and squeeze and turn the head side to side. Good. Other side, hold and milk, working the tension out. And then squeeze side to side. Good. Nice. Drawing the energy up the midline called zipping up, like I'm zipping up my jacket. Starting down at the perineum, pulling the energy up and over. This is connecting our microcosmic orbit. Chinese meridians, governing vessel up the back of the spine, conception vessel down the front of the body, zipping up, creating a circuit energetically. Nice. Next, we're gonna find our brain buttons. So our brain buttons are acupressure points just below the clavicle here. If your hands are apart like this, your fingers are apart like this, they should naturally kind of just fit into those indentations. So on either side of the sternum, just below the clavicle, and you're gonna stimulate those. Other hand, over the navel. So these are kidney points. Kidney oversees the water circulation in our body. And this is designed to help activate some points that will 
bring calmness to the body as well as fluid up to the brain. Good. What we do to one side, we want to do to the other. So we're going to switch. Opposite hand on your abdomen, other hand stimulating those points. Remember, you're looking for indentations just below the clavicle on either side of the sternum. Nice. Good. These are called brain buttons. Brain buttons. All right, next we're going to make an X. So you can make an X with your fingers, you can make an X with your forearms, you can make an X with your whole body. You want to look at the X if you're making an X with your fingers or your forearms and stare at the place where it crisscrosses in the middle. If you have some light you can hold it up to, like the sun, you want to get an image in your mind's eye, like if you just had been looking at the sunset. So you can see the X in your mind's eye when you close your eyes, okay? So stare at the X for a moment, close the eyes, see the X in your mind's eye. If you don't see it, or if you wanna just enhance it, make an X out of your body and pay attention to where it crisscrosses in the middle. So it can be a dancing X. <clears throat> we often do brain gym to fun bouncy music. Don't have any music here at the beach and you probably couldn't hear it if I had it. But if you want to put on some fun music when you do brain gym, this is a great way to move the body. Good. All right, go ahead and open the eyes. We're going to come out of the X into the hookup. So you're going to cross one leg over the other. You're going to bring the backs of the hands to face each other. You're going to cross one arm over the other. Clasp the hands. Draw that in towards your chest. See how I did that? So cross and then hug yourself. Now this is a variation of eagle pose. It's crossing all the major joints of the body. Hug everything in towards the midline, squeeze it in. Give yourself a hug. In these days of isolation and quarantine, we're not getting the kinds of hugs we need, so give yourself a hug this morning. Now to enhance this pose, you can look up and you can look down, activating the eyes. Look up, look down. Look up, look down. One more, look up, look down. Nice. One more squeeze, give yourself another hug, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. So undo the arms. Switch the arms first, undo the legs, whoops, and switch the legs. Curl those arms in, squeeze, hug. Squeeze everything towards the midline of the body and activate the eyes up and down, up and down, up and down. One more, up and down, good. One more squeeze. <sighs> Go ahead and unwind. Imagine you've got the hemispheres of the brain. We're gonna connect those hemispheres of the brain symbolically. So left hemisphere and right hemisphere in each hand. Inhale, bring the hemispheres together. When your fingertips touch, you're gonna have an electric sound that you make. So some kind of sound. <laughs> Hold that connected brain together for a few moments. This is actually a yoga mudra that we're holding, the connected brain. You can imagine the connection across the corpus callosum. And then you're going to place that connected brain symbolically back into your head. Good. Now just walk your fingers down to your forehead. Again, you're gonna feel some gentle indentations. They should be right in line with your pupils. So gentle indentations above your eyebrow. They may be the points you kind of naturally hold when you have a headache and go, oh, I have a headache. <laughs> These are called positive points. They're acupressure points. They do help with headaches, but we're gonna stimulate them with the idea of letting go of negative self-talk and replacing it with positive self-talk, all right? So letting go of any negativity you may have going through your mind. 
and replace it with positive thoughts. I am centered. I am grounded. I am energized. I am strong. I am awesome. I am invincible. Repeat these positive self affirmations to yourself. Letting go of negativity as you stimulate these positive points. And I'm just rubbing them in a circle here. Ah. Nice. Good. All right, next one, we're going to stimulate our ears. All the better to hear you with. We're gonna do that by unfurling our ears. I'm gonna come close so you can see what I'm doing. I'm unfurling my ear. Massaging it from the top all the way down to the lobe. Okay, so both ears unfurling and curling them. Now, in the ear and around the ear are acupoints from Chinese medicine that affect the entire body. So, by stimulating our ears, we're affecting every organ, every system in our body. So feel free to start to explore into other parts of your ear, get into all the little nooks and crannies, pressing, massaging, whatever seems to feel good there. I can't go too far because of the ear pods. Good. All right. Nice. Now, take the ear and gently start to pull. Just a real gentle pull in opposite directions. Hold this for a moment. To me, this feels like I'm expanding my cranium, creating more space for my brain in there. All right, good. Next is cross crawl. We're gonna cross the midline of the body. We're gonna play with this. This again is great if you have some bouncy music to do this too. So we'll start with fingertips to kneecap, cross crawl. You wanna cross the midline of the body here? Good. If you want more of an ab workout, elbow to thigh. We can do fingertips to ankle. Try fingertips to heel a foot, but in the back. So opposite foot, opposite hand. I'll turn around so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so these activate our brain. Turn it on. We gotta play with it though. We don't wanna get habituated to this. So let's. Go back to hand to knee, back to hand to ankle, back to the foot in the back. Good. Now let's just tap the heel in front and tap the elbow, opposite elbow. Whew. Maybe we're doing a little hula dance there. Nice. How about tap in the back, opposite shoulder, but reaching over the head. Ooh. Ooh. Tap in the back. Ooh. Good. Back to elbow to thigh. Heel in the back, turn in place. Ankle in the front, turn the other way. Woo. Back to hand and knee. And let that calm down. We're gonna connect our earth buttons. So take your right hand, this is gonna be opposite for you. 
place it just underneath your bottom lip on your chin. Take your left hand, find the very top of your pubic bone. We're connecting conception vessel here, the ends of the conception vessel. Hold this, feel your grounding. So these are earth buttons. Conception vessel connects with mother earth, the mother principle, the feminine. Feel your feet full and flat on the earth. Let them spread. You could even imagine roots sending them down into the earth. Keep the knees soft, really grounding yourself. Breathing. You can close the eyes if you want. Heart rate coming down. Then draw that energy up from the earth. Let it flow through your legs, through your torso. Let your legs straighten a little bit. Let it expand out through the crown of the head into the space all around you. Now we're gonna switch. So that hand, that right hand that was on your chin, find your tailbone, find your tailbone. Other hand goes just below your nose in the space between your upper lip and your nose. These are connecting governing vessel or space buttons. Think of the father principle, heaven, space, the universe, unbounded. Think about expansion, opening, inviting the field of all possibilities into your awareness. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> connecting heaven and earth through your own body as a conduit. Incidentally, holding this position in any line, somehow the line seems to move faster for some reason and you'll be at the front. If you wanna try it. One more deep breath and shake it out, shake everything out. Let's do one big breath. Close your eyes. Notice how does your body feel right now in this moment. Again, congratulate and thank yourself for showing up, for taking your body through some movements, for setting your start to your week. And we'll end with another ohm salutation. Nice deep inhale. Thank you for joining me. Have a fabulous day, fabulous week. Hope I'll see you again at something else.